Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to actually look into uh, the most one of the most important concepts, basically the debuggers, right? Um, for Java, the one of the most important debugger or which is used by everyone is the JDB. Uh, but I will also try to introduce you to another debugger called as the and bug, right? So you can go down to this particular link over here, it's on GitHub, right? And try to install this and bug. You have all the installation instructions and everything clearly given here. Um, and uh, um, I will I will give you a demo of both the and bug and JDB, right? Great. So and bug is basically a wrapper around JDWB Java Debug Wire Protocol. It's much more interactive shell compared to JDB. Um, once we identify the class and method right using and bug, then we can go to JDB to do further analysis. Okay. So now we will start by installing an app for this particular exercise. Um, I think it's over here. I call this as the insecure bank app. So let's install this ADB install insecure bank. My bad, sorry. Dot ABK. There you go, it's installed. Now for this to work, we need to have a, a web server on the uh, local on the Santoku machine on the attacking machine. So let's go and install that as well. So we go inside the folder Android Lab Server, and uh, you should have a file called uh, app.py. So Insecure Bank is basically a very uh, famous uh, vulnerable mobile app which you can use to pen test and learn about pen testing because there are a lot of vulnerabilities on this app great so let's turn on this server here so it's turned on let's log in through the de uh, default credentials dinesh at one two three dollar right and the ip address is going to be 192 168 16.212 there you go it's configured so if I hit a enter here you can see uh, you know the app running finally which is great now let's see how do we use and bug right so you can simply type in and bug and you get the options which you have to use let me simply run and bug uh, shell and before that we'll have to find what is the process associated with the insecure bank so that is going to be obtained adb shell ps Let's grep for insecure bank, right? So the process ID is six two one one, which means we go inside and bug, and right and bug um, shell dash p and put the process ID, right? So there you go. We got this interactive shell of the and bug so once we obtain this now we can do a lot of things for example run the command classes there you go it gave me classes of all, all the classes which are you know currently running on my android phone right so what if i want to uh, look at the classes of this particular app right so i'll have to go down to uh, i think it's going to be over here scroll up a bit um, okay it's not alphabetical order anyway so what we could do is we could go down to the, I already know the package name of this right so it's over here Take this. So if I type in this, you get to know the uh, various classes of this particular app, right? Now, once you do that, you can probably uh, check out the various uh, methods, right? The various methods, like for example, I can go and check out the methods in this particular. Right? So I can do methods over here and I will get to know 
um, the various methods which are present as part of this particular class which is the do transfer that's what I'm trying to do over here right so if I do get accounts I can like transfer some money if I hit a transfer the transfer completes and you know this is the function or this is the uh, method which is actually doing this particular you know function which is executing that functionality then once I once I know the method once I pin down a particular method I can then do a trace of the method which means I can just run method trace and I can just pick this up and I do a trace right so when you do a trace you get to know um, like next time when I run this right so um, if, the, if this method is basically running all the um, all the runtime variables and functions which are executing as part of that particular method will be displayed down here right <coughs> so that is how you do debugging using uh, and bug right so I've just showed you how to access methods classes and so on you can obviously go and take a vulnerable app and try it on that as well <coughs> excuse me now uh, the drawback of handback is that we can't put breakpoints right or you can't change variables now that's the place where you know jdb comes into picture right so let me probably exit this and bug so um, how do you enable jdb right we already know the process id i think it's over here okay it's probably not that let me run it again to obtain the process id okay process id 6211 right so how do you enable JDB for the process ID 6211? You do a forwarding, you do ADB forward, TCP, and uh, you uh, forward it on a particular port. Let's take 1337 in this case, and you write JW, JDWP, and the process ID which is uh, 6211. I'm not wrong. Then we go and attach JDB. I think we need to run a command called JDB attach localhost. So it's going to be JDB attach localhost 1337. There you go. So the debugger has been attached to the uh, process ID of my insecure app and now I can run everything I can run the classes command and it gave me all the classes right I can probably pick up a particular you know probably let me scroll top and try to find the classes associated with the app on the left side which is com dot android dot insecure app right so these are the classes so if I pick a particular class I can take this class and uh, I can try to find the methods for this particular class just like how I did in you know JDB uh, in and bug earlier right so these are all the so I run for this particular class I get all the variables or the methods which are being used by that particular class right so now when I actually click on transfer you know some of the variables or some of the functions are basically getting called right so if you want to dig deeper and see what is happening what you could do is you could probably you know uh, try to find the variables my bad sorry here so the variables the locus basically will have the will, will contain the variables values to the variables which are used within this particular uh, you know within that particular method or within that particular class right so this is how you get access to all the classes and methods which are basically getting executed inside a particular app right so first i showed you how you can access this using jd uh, using anbug and uh, the second thing is what i showed you was you can do the same thing using jdb as well uh, now to the last piece i wanted to show you guys how you can put in breakpoints right so breakpoints is again pretty simple so if I go top, let me pick up a particular, let me pick up one of these, or I think this should, okay, give me a minute, let me,
yeah so uh, let's let's say we uh, we want the app to uh, uh, to stop executing at a particular um, you know method so let's say we want it to stop at this particular method right so probably let's take this one right maybe this one access right so if you want the app to stop executing here what you got to do is you just need to mention stop in right so stop in and you put this okay so this was an invalid method but you get the idea right um, you can let me just pick up a right method give me a minute let me try to pick up a perfect example for that probably this one you could take this one yeah okay so that is also an invalid method but uh, so that is the idea right uh, uh, if you want the execution to stop right if you want to put in a breakpoint and you want the app to basically stop at that point you know that is how you do it you you pick the class you pick the method you obtain the method once you understand this is the method which you want to analyze you can put a breakpoint at that particular uh, method by using the command stop in right and you need to follow that by a actual uh, name of the method i'm not able to figure out the correct method down here maybe i need to spend some time to find the actual method but that's like that's the whole idea right so for debugging that's the thing you can use uh, anbug right to do a quick uh, analysis and try to understand the various classes and methods because it has a better interactive uh, you know commands which you it has better interactive commands which you can give once you obtain uh, the method which you want to troubleshoot or you want to debug you can come down to your jdb put in a breakpoint at that particular uh, method and try to see what are the variables and what are the functions which are basically getting executed right uh, and that way you will be able to understand uh, at the machine level how a particular app is behaving right uh, thank you for watching